Hey there friends, it's Missy again and I am so excited to be here as part of Audrey Yeager's Summer Scrapping 21 Days of Summer Scrapping videos. This is day 12 and you know I love making me a summer scrapbooking page and so I always love to take part in this with Audrey so I'm going to thank her so much for inviting me and let's get started with this layout. Now I've had this picture on my desk for a while and it's from a few years ago. It's of Reese and she's got on this really pretty blue and green striped swimsuit with these big white hibiscus flowers on it. And I've looked at this picture to scrap for quite a while and just was never inspired by a certain collection or I don't know, just no ideas popped into my head. My photos always inspire me. But when I looked at it this time, an idea just popped into my head and I thought I'm gonna recreate her swimsuit as a background. And I flippin' love how this turns out. I was so excited. I've done this technique before. I actually got this idea from Audrey. And I covered my white background with clear gesso and let it dry. And then I pulled out all of the blue and green Distress Oxides that I have in my stash. And I'm just going to scrape them down the page, barely overlapping each other. I already love how this is looking. This is so much fun. If you have not done this, and you have your Distress Oxides, you gotta try it, it's so much fun. And it actually winds up looking exactly like her swimsuit. I was so excited, I might have squealed a few times because I loved how this looked. Now I, I did wanna do one thing that I don't wind up being able to do. Um, I'm gonna spritz this with water because you know how the Distress Oxides react so beautifully with water. I didn't wanna do any packaging on this, I just wanted to kind of let these blend and run and soften up but I didn't want the colors to blend all together because I wanted it still to look like stripes because of the stripes in her swimsuit so I just kind of spritzed and turned the paper and kind of let it run and soften up a little bit and I love how this is looking I was so excited I love when something comes together like you want it to now here's where my idea came in I had this stencil with this giant hibiscus and I thought I'm going to use a baby wipe to kind of pull up the color and so it would be kind of like a bleached section so you would be able to see the hibiscus on the background. And it did pull up some of the ink but it did not turn out. It wasn't very visible and I think it was because I already spritzed it with water. I think if I would not have sprayed it with water this would have worked a lot better because when you spritz the water on the Distress Oxides it kind of bleaches up some of the color and it just looks really cool. But Anyway, I'm still going to get the same effect here. I'm just going to use some white acrylic paint and my little blending tool and I'm just going to lightly dab over the stencil. And so I'm going to get these white big flowers. And this is exactly what her swimsuit looks like. I love how this turns out. Oh my goodness. I really want to do this again. This is another idea. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure how to scrap it or if you want to make a background from scratch, you're not sure what to do look at the clothing and try to recreate it. I've done this before with, uh, I think this was actually last year when I did my um, summer scrapping layout. I think I tried to recreate stripes in a swimsuit and I just love that idea because you get a customized background and it matches your photo perfectly. So I love this idea and I'm so excited with how it turned out. I'm just gonna water down some of the Distress Oxides in the same colors and use my brush to kind of splatter a little bit of color. But I kind of want to leave the left side white. I want to encourage myself to not cover the whole thing because I want to do that a lot. Now, I decided I wanted more flowers. So I'm going to take a sheet of vellum and my white jelly roll pen and trace the smaller hibiscus flower. Now, I got the stencil at Michael's. And it's been a while, but I got it in, it's not in the scrapbook section. If you go into like where the Martha Stewart craft paints are and all of that, there's quite a bit of stencils in Michael's. And I don't remember what brand it is, but I found it there. And it also came in a pack with um, a flamingo and some tropical leaves and things like that. But yeah, definitely at Michael's. So I traced them and you can kind of see the detail with a white pen and I just cut these out. I fussy cut them out and I'm going to use them as layers and so it just kind of echoes the white flower but it also gives a subtle something to the background without being too busy and it's not going to compete with the picture. It's not going to compete 
with the background. But uh, I wound up adding another photo in from the same moment. Whenever I take my pictures, I take a gazillion course. So um, yeah, she was just standing by the hedge looking cute. And I thought that swimsuit is going to look great on a scrapbook page. And so yeah, you know how scrapbookers think, of course. But yeah, I finally got the idea of how to how to scrap it. So I pulled out some things from my stash here. These are some die cuts from the Pink Paisley Citrus Bliss collection. It's a few years old, three or four years old maybe. But I hoarded it because it was gorgeous. And it has a lot of this really pretty light blue and green, like lime green and kelly green and uh, pinks and stuff. So I just pulled out some things. I wasn't sure if I was going to use all of it, but I do want to create a little cluster. You know, I said I was going to encourage myself to leave the left open and I don't add mixed media to it, but I am going to add this little cluster of stuff over here. And I think it looks okay. It's, it's not too busy. Um, but yeah, I like it. So I pulled out some different blues and greens uh, in my thread stash to incorporate here and there underneath the cluster die cuts and underneath the photos. Um, yeah, some of the die cuts I don't use. I just didn't want to get too much. I just used the ones that matched as well as I could see that they matched. I also pulled out some old simple stories and this sticker that says chill it was the perfect color. I was like, I don't even care what this says. I'm going to use it. I'm going to incorporate the word chill onto this page some way, somehow. And I'm going to use that little flower sticker. They're not hibiscus flowers, but they are the same colors that I'm using. And I was just kind of going for anything that was green, blue, aqua, and it just worked. I almost cut that sun out, but then I thought, ah, that's a whole nother color. But here's where I decided to add another color. I was going to keep this kind of monochromatic with the blues and greens sort of and then I decided to go with pink and I actually love how it turns out um, this is a pebbles paper and it's got hibiscus on it so I'm like okay they're the wrong color but I really want to use them and so I'm going to soften up this bright pink just by giving a little bit of gesso and smudging it on top to kind of soften it up because I didn't want to go hot pink um, I wanted a softer pink but I couldn't pass up the chance to use the hibiscus since that is what we're going with here. So this means I've introduced a new color, which means I have to add that color of thread naturally, right? That's just how my brain works. And so I'm going to add in a soft pink thread. And I, at first I wasn't even going to do the pink, but it just happened and I'm okay with it. And I actually like the addition of the pink. I think it's, it's just what it needed. It kind of just brightens it up and gives this pop of color that's not on the background. And I have some space on my photos to do a little bit of overlapping. And so I'm going to overlap a couple of the flowers on there. And I situated my photos on the right side since she's looking left. I like to have my subjects and my photos looking across the page or down the page or up the page. So it looks like they're actually looking at something. I know that's crazy because they're just pictures, but that's just kind of how my scrapbooking brain works. Now I pulled the striped paper from, I think it's a Pebbles, it's a summer collection. It's a few years old. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's Fancy Pants. It's this collection here. It's from Fancy Pants and it is a few years old, but I still love it and I've hoarded it. And it actually has a lot of hibiscus die cuts in it, but I've already used those on other layouts and that made me sad. And that's why we hoard things, right? Because you want to use it on a layout. And then when you want to use it, you've already used it. So it's like, we can't win. Don't hoard it, use it. But then I wanted to use it again and I didn't have it. And so I was sad that I didn't hoard it, if that makes any sense. Probably not, but anyway, I'm gonna start to glue things down. And I love that little cluster. It just worked. It just worked. Sometimes things come together easily. And this layout, even though it looks really complicated, it actually came together quickly for me. And I actually made this in one day, which is super fast for me. These are some stamps from the Crate Paper Oasis collection. And I'm gonna use the Distress Oxide to stamp by the, and my title's gonna be Chill by the Pool because I, like I said, I was gonna use that word chill just because of the ombre blue and green in it. And it's actually got a little bit of pink too. 
These are some super old Dear Lizzie thickers. I'd never even used them yet. I'm sure you remember them. You probably have them in your stash. I'm going to cut off the little scripty parts and use these as uh, the word pool here. And I love when I actually can incorporate thickers from my stash into a layout. It doesn't happen often. And I'm going to soften them up with a little bit of gesso. And they're foam, so they took the gesso really well. And then I'm going to trim off all of the, well, some <laughs> of the parts that are sticking off the page. And then add a little bit of pink splatter. And this is a shimmers. I believe it's called cotton candy and it wasn't the perfect pink that I wanted and so I'm gonna wind up going back over that with another shimmers called sweetheart you think I would know which pink is perfect by now but it depends I thought the cotton candy looked good but I felt like the sweetheart looked better so I'm just gonna redo my pink splatters and see now I think the pink looks pretty even though there's no pink in the photos there's no pink in the background I made it work and I love how it turned out and I hope you do too. Last thing I'm going to do is add some journaling and I'm going to use my gold metallic pen and then I bet you can't guess what I'm going to add at the very end. You probably did guess it. Yep, it's Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. One final pop of gold and then that is the final layout. I am obsessed with how this turned out. I was so excited to get the idea in my head out of nowhere to recreate her swimsuit and it just turned out so great. I love it. So uh, I hope this gives you some ideas to try. Again, I want to thank Audrey for having me because I love making pool and summer uh, water type photo or layouts. They are definitely my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions about anything and I will be more than happy to answer. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.